aging face that this world has forgotten. Mm, what is up, guys? And of course, welcome to another well talkative video, really, with your true, of course, the Scarinder. And today's video is going to focus on, of course, the ultra beasts of this generation, and whether or not they're broken. And my hopes in the end of this video is, of course, you get a better understanding, of course, these Pokemon in mind. But also, just a very talkative platform, what do you guys think about Ultra Beasts? Do you guys think they're broken? And if so, write it down below. So really, with all this said, let's go over them. Starting off with Nifilego, I um, generally really like the cause of this Pokemon being, of course, a jellyfish-like Pokemon, which is just, well, wow. Uh, but really, with that said, it's a Pokemon that, you know, it has some good stats, and then we have a very, very bad defense. Uh, this Pokemon has one big issue, and that is actually not the stats itself, really. It is that it not necessarily is able to do all that much to defend itself. Being, of course, is able to set up rocks and toxic spikes and has proper stabbing over the poison and rock. It do lack the capabilities of dealing with possible ground types. It do get access to grass, not granted but it still is an option that just barely hold it up. And of course, it's completely walled by steel type. Mainly focusing on this Pokemon really need to have hidden power fire, which like I said, holding it back. But it's not a broken Pokemon by any sense of the word. It is a very, very nice Pokemon. You'll see this Pokemon as a possible Sash lead. It can also be a great late game sweeper due to of course the beast boost capabilities and of course if the matchup allows it that is. It's definitely speedy enough to pull that off and it definitely hurts. And of course we have the one speed boost or one beast boost which mainly will actually erase your special attack. It's kinda hard to switch in on. So Nifilego not really broken, it definitely a versatile Pokemon, has a few issues, but um, it's a very good Pokemon. Definitely one of my more interesting Pokemon for Ultra Beast here as well. And then came Busso, and um, I don't know what to say about this Pokemon more than, you know, it's it's the buffed <laughs> Heracross. It isn't as good as Mega Heracross, you just have that comparison, but it clearly has something going. I stab mainly. It's it's a very, very strong Pokemon. Leech Live, um, Superpower is all you need, proper stabbing really, and um, then again, Earthquake, Ice Punch, it can Roost, it can Bulk Up. Uh, it has a lot of things going for it. It is a bit on the slow side, which is worth mentioning, but at the same time, it's definitely bulky enough to take a few hits and retaliate really well. Um, can be used as Scarfer, can be used as Bandit, and definitely encourage people to use it as a Band variant. You can also use very well in Tailwind support, and um, same thing here. It's not broken due to the speed limiting it, but it's a very ferocious spawn. Too bad that we actually had another Pokemon just like this, but a lot, lot stronger. So that will be, of course, Fermosa, which is probably the first Pokemon I would say are close to broken, if not broken actually by default. It's not a Pokemon that can take a hit, clearly. As you guys can see, 37 in defense means that most things flat it. Usually this thing is either Focus Sash or Life Orb, but the thing that makes this so good is its mixed offensive stat. Being able to use the likes of Ice Beam, um, Lunge, U-Turn, and of course, uh, High Jump Kick. It has proper stabbing, use Poison Jab, um, and of course, that speeds Axelgor, which mainly nothing do. It's, um, Formosa is just very, very tough to deal with. It's definitely is another type of ball game, and um, all I can say is that this probably is the first book that I would say is broken. Um, it's just as simple as that. Such a ferocious glass cannon, really. And next one here is actually a Pokemon I do not like at all, and that is Zuxi Tree. Um, it's a very good mon, and for all the wrong reasons. Uh, Zuxi Tree doesn't really have any stats, you know, delivering any kind of capability what this Pokemon is able to, outside of its special attack, which is just insane. Um, this thing is almost always Scarfed. It's either that, or a Tailwind support with Tail Glow, or just, you know, a Shukaberry Tail Glow set. All of those are fine because it's just so hard to stop and um, for my money I would say that it's broken but it's only because the Lola meta do not include proper walls for it so I definitely could see this Pokemon staying but at the time being in the Lowland really are just Marowak and uh, Togedemaru that can take this thing on and that's not enough, that is definitely not enough, Zergentry just rips apart team easily and of course, with the scarves, it's very, very, very hard to push back. 
Uh, the circuitry, I would say, are only broken in, of course, the lowland meta, but it's worth mentioning that that is definitely one of the more powerful Ultra Beasts introduced in this generation, if anything, really. And after this, of course, we have probably my favorite uh, Ultra Beast, Celestila. It's... It doesn't look like much on paper, but then you realize, you know, it's a flying steel type, which is basically what Skarmor is, but this thing can attack. And that's just insane. Now, we've seen Skarmory pulling off, you know, curse sets and stuff like that, but always been, you know, Hazard Stacker, Defogger, Roost Setter, um, always been passive, you know, using Whirlwind to kind of avoid um, setup. This guy don't care for that. This thing gets Flamethrower and Fire Blast, which is just awesome. I'm, I'm really, really liking the concept of this Pokemon. And uh, the usual set is usually Heavy Slam, clearly for Stab, Earthquake and Fire Blast, and then Leech Seed, because yeah, it, it doesn't have roots, but it has Leech Seed, and Leech Seed is more than enough for it, because it's such a passive, aggressive move from it, you know, clearly recovering HP, that this thing just thrives in almost any matchup, really. It does have two weaknesses, and only two, which is Fire and Electric, which means it actually is forced out, even though it's kind of hard to pull off. And of course, one, after one Beast Boost, this might not actually be even an option at that point because it's so special defensive you can make it special defensive you must make it special defensive what i'm trying to say if you pull that off then you know shit is definitely going down uh, having that said um like i said at least he said it's a very very common set special defensive bit more speed to of course uh, creep of course defensive 70 months but outside of that this pokemon does well as an autonomized set uh, mainly as a physical sweeper autonomized and then uh, citrus berry uh, acrobatics and Earthquake takes a very long way, Iron Head filler, Flamethrower to be able to of course deal with you know things if you want, don't wanna, Iron Head is not necessarily that important for that set. And then we have the complete special set which I I think is good but not as good as the physical set, or the mix set I should say. But it does have a plethora of special attacks which is just making this Pokemon so unique, so great and really a blast to use. I do encourage you guys to check this Pokemon out really in general. But um, it's it's not a broken Pokemon by any sense as well. It's more the most flexible one, uh, the most fun to play with, and um, I think the fun factor comes from that it's it's not excelling in any kind of stats, but it can do so much, which just makes it so unique and so rich. So I'm kind of glad it didn't have recovery because then maybe it would be broken. But at this point, it definitely is not. And now we're gonna talk about, of course, Cartana. Cartana was the Pokemon that mainly most people were really scared of because it had so high attack and even to this day I, I agree it has so much attack <laughs> but that's it uh, it's definitely speedy so it definitely can deal with you know the trio from Unova of course Kelly and stuff like that but it has an issue and I've, I'm very very glad it has that issue and that is, its stabs are not really that good. It has Leaf Blade, Smart Strike, and then basically Night Slash or um, Psycho Cut or Real Ace. It doesn't hurt. It has the stats to hurt hard, but it doesn't have the stats to hurt harder. And that's a good thing. And I really can't say much more about it than that. And it definitely is a strong Pokemon, but it needs a Swords Dance to sweep. It needs a Beast Boost to possibly sweep. And even at that, the lack of Lustring Stab and the Pokemon in the walls is easily... Just push it back, so not broken, but definitely looks ferocious. And then came Gustlord. And in the game, to really build this Pokemon up, you know, as being, you know, the Pokemon to, you know, be scared of. But then you see it, and see the stats, and then you realize, yeah, they, 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 they lied. <laughs> Gustlord is not a good Pokemon, and it's... It has an excelling HP set, you know, it's the Waylord all over it, you know, a lot of HP, no recovery, and um, improper defenses, you know, take it anything really. You know, had it been like um, Blissey, maybe it would have been worthwhile with recovery uh, and more special defense, but at this time it's just, oh, they missed out on this guy, and I think he suffers for it. Now, I've seen a few sets which are interesting, you know, you could go for Stockpile Swallow set, but really it's definitely improper. Rest Talk is probably where it's at. Using Stockpile is not a bad option, mind you. Uh, trying to get those defenses going at least with Rest Talk and then Heavy Slam or Dragon Tail. Uh, basically a phaser, and it does that well. 
It's just too bad it, that is what it was made to become in, you know, as it best sets. It's super passive and, you know, it's speed times with Krabombo would pretty much would Oko this guy due to a close combat alone. So, I feel that they build up this Pokemon really well, but uh, the payoff definitely wasn't up there. I would not surprise if Gosselor was to be an RU Pokemon later on, because it's definitely a worse Hydreigon. I, I don't see any reason using this over Hydreigon, because Hydreigon just does the job better with this typing. I would say this guy just falls flat, and that's really, really disappointing. Now the last Ultra Beast is actually not an Ultra Beast, the game clearly states this is a Pokemon, this is not an Ultra Beast, but it's a part of that side quest which kind of forces me to of course include it. Um, it does not have Beast Boots, it has Prism Armor instead which works like uh, Filter and Solid Rock, it reduces super effective damage 25%, that's annoying. It's a very good ability, it definitely ensures that this Pokemon can survive a lot longer, and it has a very good HP stats, good mixed attack, and decent defensive stats. Clearly, you know, the special defense is definitely holding you back a little bit, but at the same time, we have prison armor, which makes this Pokemon, well, more defensive than one would imagine. The speed is holding it back, and I do believe that that's a good part, because that is probably what saves it from actually not becoming broken. So there are three workable sets with Necrozma, and um, the, the first one is definitely the more interesting one, of course, the naive one with uh, the Psychic or Psychic, of course, and then we have Earthquake, Hidden Part Fire, which is super important with that set in mind, and then Calm Mind or Rock Polish. Uh, where's the potential late game sweeper if you want to use it like that? It definitely is a super wall breaker due to it, making Calm Mind probably more interesting one because it does have speed relevant walls. Uh, with that said, of course, we have the more bold variant, the more defensive variant. Uh, which mainly has usually Psychic, Thunder Wave, and then Moonlight, and Stealth Rock. Stealth Rock is a, you know, mainly a really good option uh, to have with, of course, this kind of Pokemon, because it does it so easily, it doesn't su suffer from carrying Stealth Rock, it doesn't have anything weak to your know, common Stealth Rocker. And then we have my favorite set, which is actually what I would call the Minerva set. It's uh, Stored Power, and it has actually our Defense and, of course, uh, Call of Mind. You get, of course, Rest and Chesterberry. Trust me, you want to go with Rest, you don't want to be stole out by Toxic. I've seen people try to use, you know, Morning Sun or Moonlight and try to, you know, void off, you know, potential Aftermath, but really, you want to go at it as best as you can and then from there basically sweep because that's so high special attack and relevant speed and it's able to do, well, a lot of damage in a short time. At one Iron Defense and one Calm Mind, you're pretty much set to sweep. Don't make sure, of course, there's no dark type on the, on the field, because that's kind of what screwed this up. But outside of that, that's kind of what you go with. It's actually... It's a very interesting set. It works more often than not. So with that said, you know, there, th that is all 8 Ultra Beasts. And um, my conclusion is that there are two that stands out as definitely close to broken. For different reasons, but I wouldn't... <laughs> I wouldn't try to and force the others to be more broken. For Mosa, you gotta go with 63, I'm, I'm a bit mixed, I really hope Pokebanks open, you know, as soon as possible to be able to, of course, deal with you properly. Uh, but for the time being, the other ones definitely aren't more ferocious than any other Pokemon introduced so far. So with that said, what do you guys think about the course Ultra Beast? Do you guys think, of course, they're broken? Or do you guys think that they're relevant and, you know, kind of nice to have in the meta? And with that said, guys, I want to thank you, of course, so much for watching this video, and uh, I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, I will see you, of course, in the next one. So, until then, guys, thank you so much for watching, and take care. Bye.